comic book people out there! Class Comics, which is known as being a gay comic book company that does very adult stuff, released a new title by the name of Tales of the Tarot Demon, Demos, number one. This issue consists of three different stories, all of which were written by Patrick Fillion, and each story was illustrated by a different artist. Demos is a Class Comics character that is a demon, as his name suggests, but he's trying to redeem himself so he can get into the good graces of heaven. And he's doing this slowly, one mission at a time. This comic book has three different stories that take place in different points in Demos' life. The first story is called Dead of Winter 2. Patrick Fillion illustrated this one himself. The story takes place after the previous Dead of Winter storyline where Demos was meeting up with a character by the name of Mac, who he cared about a lot but unfortunately had to leave him. And then Demos is attacked by a bunch of monks and priests where he's turned into their sex slave where he's eventually going to be executed. There's lots of sexy gooeyness going on in this one, we'll just leave it at that. The next story is called Innocence. This was illustrated by Alicia Slonominski, a mysterious baby that's half angel and half demon and is presented to Demos and his buddies. The baby has to be taken to safety before other demonic entities can get their claim on it. The parents to this baby isn't made clear in this comic book, but the baby does look very similar to Demos. There's some interesting parental nursing happening in this story that may make some people feel uncomfortable. But we don't really know the full extent of the baby, and we don't know the full extent of what Demos is yet. The last story is called Inspiration, and this one was illustrated by David Cantera. Originally, Demos had a small shape-shifting demonic partner by the name of Grin. He would sometimes take the form of a cockering, or something like that, but he just mysteriously disappeared. So Demos is going to a magical artist by the name of Frederick, who can use his artistry skills to find other people in the world. Of course, he does this by Demos doing a lot of sexual things so that he can draw that and then he can use his powers. I am glad that the character of Grin is being addressed because it seems as though that character has been forgotten about for a long period of time. Not that we get closure or anything, but at least it is being addressed. At the end of the comic book, we get a lot of different pinup art from different artists. We also get some sketch drawings from other artists as well. All art is interpreted you either like the artist or you don't like the artist. Some people aren't too happy with some of the characters that are introduced in the Class Comics universe, specifically because of all the sexuality that's involved in it. Me, personally, I think it's awesome. It's porn, there's story to it, we have a lot of superhero characters involved in it, there's every type of aspect you can imagine for different personalities and characters that are being introduced, so I think it's all around perfect. And Demos is one of my top three characters, so I'm really happy that any comic book involving him is being done. All three stories are fairly short, but there is a good amount of development between Demos and his cast members. And I'm hoping that this is going to be developing into future stories that will be involving him. Some characters like Zahn, or maybe some of the other demonic creatures out there like Incubus, or maybe even Diablo. Other than Guardians of the Cube, we haven't really seen a huge team-up of all the superheroes in the Class Comics universe, and I think that could be done very epically. Maybe that's just me, though. Anyways, if you want to get this comic book, you want to go to classcomics.com and you can order it from there. That's it for now. Thank you guys for joining me in this comic book review. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, my website, my social media sites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.